what is going on guys uh it's late gotta go to work tonight get ready to go in get off at 7 a.m hopefully i'm not stuck here until noon trying to get some garage sales on the way home so we'll see how that goes but first we have a couple pieces of business to get to uh first piece of business i'm very very hope very very hoping i'm very very hopeful that uh, i get another package from spain with a very rare playstation 4 game in it by the end of this episode uh, so everybody cross your fingers for that. <laughs> the, uh, the second piece of business that I want to talk about is this pro Jared thing. You're a dirty, dirty man. All right, guys, we are leaving that sale. Uh, that sale was advertised on uh, Craigslist and tons of stuff. But as you guys saw, it was like, uh, you know, retail price. You, those etched glasses, I'd love to get in and start collecting those. Those vintage glasses from like the 80s, you know, with uh, Looney Tunes characters and stuff like that on it. Because uh, I think they're really cool. But uh, I'm not paying 15 to $20 for a glass. I'm not paying $25 for a bag of you know gi joe stuff like that uh pretty much retail type prices so we're ain't gonna hit up some more man i saw a couple signs up here so we'll see what we get All right, we are uh, we're 0 for 2. It's not a good batting average to start the morning, but uh, we are going to keep hunting. It looked like that one was like a church sale. Uh, a lot of, I don't want to say it derogatory, but a lot of old people type stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, old, old TVs and stuff like that. So uh, on to the next one, man. Let's we'll see if we can hunt some more of these garage sales down. What is going on, guys? Welcome to this episode of The Pickups. We have a ton of stuff to get to. 
We got like a freebie from Tyler. We got garage sale stuff, thrift store stuff. We bought stuff from a from a Facebook Craigslist thing. We got stuff from the internet machines. We got all kinds of stuff. We stopped at Forever Games, all kinds of stuff. So let's just get into it. First thing that we got, a Tyler came over and he bought my Samurai Jack out of my GameCube collection, but uh, he did give me a copy of Home Alone for the Game Boy. Now this is one of my childhood games that I was trying to track down. It's an awesome condition. When I think back to my childhood, especially, you know, uh, playing Game Boy, this is one of those games that I, I love to play. I played it on a live stream and we beat it, which was amazing. So very, very happy to add this to the collection. But uh, Tyler came over, we changed the oil on my Toyota. Uh, then we went to um, L1 Games, which is awesome. Muzz, thanks for letting us uh, poke around your store. But I was over there to meet Josh from Your Player 2, who allowed me to borrow his Elgato HD60. So guys, we are back up and streaming. Thank you very much to Josh from Your Player 2. If you've not checked out Josh's channel, I'll leave a link down below. He does like self-help, uh, tech reviews. Sometimes he'll do uh, pickup videos and unboxing, stuff like that, but he'll do live streams regularly. So if you're into watching live streams, definitely go down there and throw him a sub. Let him know that CM Retro sent you. On our way back, we had to stop and get gas, and there just happened to be a Goodwill across the street, so we never pass up a Goodwill. We walked in there, and for 99 cents, picked up a copy of Wii Sports. Disc is actually in really nice condition, so uh, that's an easy flip for just one dollar. All right, so let's just get into some garage sale stuff. Garage sales have been pretty lean uh, so far. We did go to the Bexley Community Sale. And really anytime I see them, I try and stop, but we kind of live out in the country a little bit, so uh, they're few and far between. And if you want to drive, you know, 10 miles or whatever in but to get to garage sale to garage sale, I'm not really into that. So I've been looking for some deals and uh, there are actually some garage sales that were close to us. I stopped, I asked, do you have any video game stuff? She said, no, but we have this. And she produced an Xbox 360 Wi-Fi adapter which is cool. I said, how much do you want for it? She originally said $3, but we settled on $1, which is the price I want to pay for these. It uh, looks like they go for about 15 to 20 bucks on eBay. So hopefully we can flip that into some quick cash. Pick this up only for Captain Retro, 25 cents, The Karate Kid, uh, part two, the book with, uh, I think it says over, over 20 photos from the movies. Let's take, uh, let's take one of the look at one of those photos right now. Oh, there we go. Break the ice. So Captain Retro, I got that for you, buddy. So next time we do a trade, I will throw that in the box for sure. I'm starting to notice that one of the byproducts of having so many people out there hunting down, you know, old action figures and video game stuff is that those of us that are a little bit more experienced, those that have started in the game, you know, in the last five, 10 years, we actually have a broader knowledge base. You know, we don't have to play catch up on all the video game stuff. We know what's good, we know what's not good. We don't have to stand there and, and play on our phones a lot uh, and do research while we're at the garage sale. But what we, we have done is we've kind of upped our game. Uh, we've got a lot more experience with other stuff. So that's what we did here. This lady had these golf bags for $2. Uh, she had three of them. I said, we should take five for all of them. She said, yes. Now these are Nike brand golf shoe tote bags and they retailed, I don't know if you can see that. And they came out there you go for $44 so we're not gonna be able to get $44 for these it looks like they go for about 20 or 25 bucks but still you see like name brand brand new stuff at yard sales for two bucks or under definitely pick it up and Nike is a, is a brand that sells really well so hopefully these will be uh, quick flippers especially since it's spring summertime and uh, golf is in uh, full swing <laughs> see what they did there so, you know, I'm watching Garage Flips and he, he started picking up some of these porcelain dolls. I don't really know a lot about them. I don't claim to be an expert. Lady had like a car. They were like all over her car. <laughs> she had a car just threw crap on it. And uh, I saw these porcelain dolls. I asked her how much. They, they, she said they were ind individually marked. Like this one's marked 15. That one's marked 7. Um, there were some other ones there that were marked different prices. Uh, she said, how about 5 bucks a piece if you buy 6 for 20 bucks? So I said, for 20 bucks, I'll take a chance, not a big deal. But these are actually uh, Mary and You Design porcelain dolls. These are from uh, 87, 1988. And uh, you can see 
that they still have like the, the bubble wrap on the hands and stuff like that. It comes with the stand. There's a certificate of authenticity in there and everything that explains it. Now, most of you that grew up in this time, like I did, you know, I was 12 or 13 years old uh, in that 1990 range, but it seemed like everything that they were making was collector's edition, collector's series, limited numbers, and now they're not worth anything. Um, I figure I can get about $20 uh, for each of these dolls. This one is uh, obviously a little bit taller and some really nice condition. I couldn't find the name on the little one, but this one is Asian Schoolgirl Christmas with Santa. So there's a little Santa figure that comes with it. Um, I might be able to get a little bit more for that one. I'll probably ask 30 uh, for this one. So that was really cool. And uh, the last four that I picked up, I saw these, I was like, these are really cool. I'm gonna definitely buy these. Uh, Presidential Lady Porcelain Dolls inspired by the Smithsonian Institute Authentic Series by Nortel. Now again, I didn't know a lot about these, but uh, she's got like the sales receipts in there. She's got the certificate of authenticity. So I figure for $3 and 30 something cents, you can't lose money on these, uh, even though if they take a while to sell, but they are in great condition and they actually look amazing. I, I love the, uh, the clothing on them and everything. So this is uh, Mrs. Lincoln. We've got Mrs. Fillmore. This nice young lady here in the brown dress. This is Mrs. Hayes. No, I'm sorry, this is uh, Abigail Garfield with a certificate of authenticity. And the last one here, this is Lucy Hayes. So this is Mrs. Hayes right there. Again, sales receipts and everything are in there. So I don't think that I'm gonna lose money on these. Like I said, I paid $20 for the entire lot. So I think we did good there. Uh, two quick, two very quick pickups here from uh, Forever Games. You know, Matt always, always hooks it up and treats us right. So for five bucks, we picked up Valkyria Chronicles for the PlayStation 3. We got that basically half off. It's about a $10 game. Very nice condition with the manual. Um, you know, tactics game, tactics strategy type game. Uh, I kind of wanted to give it a whirl. Heard good things about it, but we'll see. The backlog is real. I don't see this game a lot. Again, this was $5, so it was a really good price on this. This is El Shaddai or El Shaddadi or El Shad. L, L this thing and um, yeah it's just a game for the 360 I don't see a lot complete uh, very nice uh, condition uh, Tyler actually wants to borrow that so now that it's been in the video buddy you're more than welcome to borrow it a couple of videos ago I was at uh, VGMX and they had this uh, Legend of the Heroes Trials of Cold Steel Trials I always say Trials Trials of Cold Steel uh, Collector's Edition. This thing is in very nice condition. Comes with the uh, the pin in this box and the uh, art book, which was cool. It was like $20, but uh, I get 10% off because I pay in cash. So it was cool to get that. But the only thing that was wrong with it is the game only came with the disc. It didn't come with the cover art and the manual. Now what I'm suspecting is that this thing came into the shop complete and one of the store employees needed the manual and the cover art for this, so they ganked it. But uh, I went on eBay, found one $6 with shipping, and he shipped it like this, in an envelope. No padding, no nothing. So he's lucky that it got here safe and sound. But uh, there's the manual, so that's awesome. And then here is the, uh, the cover art. Again, no protection. Oh, I like that it's double-sided, that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, again, no protection on that, which, I mean, I left him good feedback because it got here in good condition. I probably should have sent him a note and said, hey, Chucklehead, when you're sending manuals and stuff like that, don't send it in just a regular envelope. So this was pretty cool. This is a good deal. I jumped on this right away. Uh, I was checking out Craigslist and I saw the listing. All they posted was uh, 21 PlayStation 3 games and then the price was 35 bucks. So I said, I'll bite. I uh, usually... Again, like they didn't say like Spyros and you know Crash Bandicoots or whatever it is. You know they didn't list any game. So when you see those generic titles like that, it's like eh, I don't know. Some people just skip over them. I like to check them out just me just to see what they have. Most of the time it's a bunch of crappy sports games. But um, these folks had this this uh, this lot of 21 PlayStation 3 games, and there it is. Boom! Big huge box of PlayStation uh, 3 games, which is cool. So I already divided them up into games that I have. Uh, games that I'm kind of adding to the collection and whatnot. So let's just dig right through this box. Uh, so first of all, the, the best thing about this was that um, 
these are all adult owned games. These are adult gamers. They're get, getting rid of this box of games. Uh, they also had a PlayStation 3 for sale. I wasn't interested in the console, but games for sure. So the first stack here, these are games that I have. Um, so these will go in the doubles bin, but for $1.66 a unit, so that's our cost of goods on this, about $1.67, uh, we couldn't pass them up. We got uh, Sports Championship. I have this in the big box. So I don't really just, I don't need a loose copy. We've got uh, the Uncharted series, which is awesome, by the way. Uncharted 2 is my favorite of the series. But I have these on PS4 in the collection, so I don't really need the PS3 version, but those are great games. Uh, we have Sly Cooper, Thieves in Time, which is a game that I got from Tyler, actually gave me this a long time ago. We were just talking about that at Forever Games. Um, I don't want to play it because I want to play the first three first, and the first three are on a collection for the PlayStation 3. I uh, recently picked this one up, uh, Portal 2. This one's actually in a little bit better condition than mine, so I'm going to put this into the, uh, the collection. We'll swap them. Sometimes getting doubles in the lot isn't a bad thing because you can use it to upgrade manuals, discs, cover arts, uh, cases, stuff like that. Here's a cool game here. This is Folklore, a game that I just got from uh, Carly in a trade. But this thing, look at the edges on that manual. That is mint. I don't even know if they ever played this game. They probably bought it new and never played it, but... Yeah, so cool to get that. Uh, these games uh, I'll be adding to the collection, I think. <laughs> See, I have to double check. Every time I look through my PS3 collection, I find, I'm like, oh, I don't have that game. And I look through and I have it. Uh, this is cool right here, the first one. This is uh, Motor Storm, but it's the not for resale version that goes in the box. I actually have the console uh, that this game goes in. So even though this isn't a very valuable game, and I'll probably never play it. Uh, it is cool to have it in the box. So now we've got, you know, kind of complete in the box type of things. Never heard of this thing. PlayStation Heroes Move. Move Heroes. Looks like you have to use the uh, PlayStation Move required for that. I'm probably never going to play that because I'm not going to dig it out of the box. Uh, Call of Duty 4. Modern Warfare. There's a cool one here. Tomb Raider. In my opinion, these are the best Tomb Raider games uh, when Crystal Dynamics and Eidos partnered up to make uh, Tomb Raider Anniversary, Tomb Raider Underworld, and Tomb Raider Legend. They're classic Tomb Raider games with modern graphics, sounds, you know, updates, all that stuff. So these are really, in my opinion, the best that Tomb Raider can get uh, for that style. I know the, the new style is more open world and it's great, but that, that type of Tomb Raider game, the linear kind of Tomb Raider game. Thought I had this game, did not. Heavenly Sword, I think it's like a beat em up type game. Very excited to see this one in here. I, I did a little research on this. I've seen it a couple times. Mini Ninjas, it's an open world, uh, 3D beat em up platformer type game. And um, yeah, it's kind of done in that, I don't know, how do you say like Kung Fu Panda type, type art style. Uh, series I've never played before. We've got Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, it came with the manual. And it also came with uh, the map. So that's a nice bonus there. All right, so I said, I said number one, they were adult owned. Number two, uh, the couple that I bought these from, very nice couple. The lady was really into Ratchet and Clank. She loved Ratchet and Clank. We talked a little bit about the, uh, the PlayStation 4 remake version of the first one based on the movie. And like she knew like all, all about Ratchet and Clank. She was talking about the weapons, like the Rhino and stuff like that. So it's no surprise that she had all the Ratchet and Clank games. I think I have all these, but uh, if I, even if I do, these are in such great condition that they will be probably upgrades for me. So we've got uh, Ratchet and Clank All for One, uh, Ratchet and Clank Future Tools of Destruction, Ratchet and Clank Frontal Assault, Full Frontal Assault, Ratchet and Clank A Crack in Time, and uh, Ratchet and Clank Into the, <clears throat> sorry, Ratchet and Clank into the Nexus. All right, so the last two games there, the rock stars in my opinion, the games I'm most excited to add to my collection. We've got uh, Ratchet and Clank Collection. Of course, she was a big Ratchet and Clank fan. She has to have Ratchet and Clank Collection. Uh, so that's super cool. It's uh, the remaster of Ratchet and Clank, Ratchet and Clank Going Commando, and Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal. So three games in one. And in my opinion, the PS3 hit it out of the park when it came to these compilation type games. There's uh, Sly Cooper, Jack and Dexter, Disgaea, Silent Hill, Ratchet and Clank. There's probably some more that I'm forgetting, but I would like to get all of these type uh, PS2 you know, collection 
games uh, for part of a subset, like do some subset collecting. So this is awesome to add, and um, we'll have to give this one a try. We might have to live stream now. Uh, this is cool here. I'm really excited about this one. The Legend of Spyro Dawn of the Dragon. Complete, very nice condition. Again, I don't know if they bought these new and never played them. This has got a used sticker on, so they obviously bought that used and maybe played it a couple times, but I love buying video game stuff from adult owners because they take care of their stuff. They don't get as beat up as, you know, kid stuff. So 35 bucks for that whole stack. Thought that was a good deal. And we've got one more item left coming to the end. So the last thing I got here, I got another very, very rare PlayStation 4 game. You watch any of those top 10 rare PlayStation 4 games and the rarest PlayStation 4 game. This game is definitely gonna be on that list. Uh, now, I ordered it from Spain. A lot of the most rare PlayStation 4 games are gonna come from Spain. Uh, Toro, there's, there's a bunch of them. But uh, I was very excited to get this one. The guy sent it without any tracking, so I was a little nervous, but it is Dog Child. Boom, there's the disc. Now, the rub on this game, the reason it's so rare is because they're in Spain, there's a store and the name of the store is called Game. That's the name of the store. And what they do is they give independent developers an opportunity to have their games produced. They have a partnership with Sony. So the people that made this game, uh, these guys, they, um, let's see if it says on the back. Animation ES, that sounds about right. But uh, anyway, these folks won a contest and they had their game produced. Now it's not a great game. This game did not sell any well, sell very well uh, for retail. You can get it on the PlayStation Store for like five bucks or something. But it was released in one region at one store, got one print run. So that is that is the making of a rare game. It is already rare. So if you see a copy of this on eBay for cheap, definitely get it. Now, from what I understand, it's not a great game, but it's not a bad game. It's got some glitches and some control issues. But uh, overall, the game functions. And um, yeah, very happy to add that uh, to the collection. We'll be definitely, we're gonna be looking for more rare games from uh, Europe. You know, the Journey Collection is one that's pretty rare on PS4. And there's a bunch, like I said, in Spain that are gonna be rare. Well, they're rare right now, but they're gonna be super rare in the future that are retail release games. They're not limited runs, strictly limited, anything like that. So very cool to have that into the collection. All right, guys, that is gonna do it. That was a lot of stuff. I've gotta get games sorted, games cleaned, items posted for sale. But I wanna thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let me know what you've been picking up at garage sales or thrift stores. Leave a comment down below. And as always, take care of yourselves, and we'll see you on the next one.